What's up, people? It's your boy Jatuan. I'm here today in Kerbal Space Program. Now, today we are not going to duel. We are not. Today we are designing simple aircraft, as you can see here, that fly really well. But this one has a hidden trick. It actually has inside on a rotary, it has four of these cruise missiles that should allow us to smash things in to the VAB, which is my favorite target, for the Kerbal Air Force to watch and hopefully purchase our designs. Oh, <laughs> oh I like the way you move, you sexy beast. All right, come on, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Let's go, let's go. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Wait, 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 I'm going the wrong way. I was pulling it the wrong way. That was my dumb fault. All right, so let's get this bay opened up. And let's get here. We need to be above 500 meters, so let's go ahead and flatline. Here we go. Okay. We might be able to launch one from here. Let's see what happens. Fire. Bombs away. All right. So that's on its way. Close that up. Let's switch up. I want to see how this looks coming in. It's coming in steep. Wait. Hold on. Oh, my God. I almost forgot. Indestructible off. Accept. Accept. Go. Blow it up! Do it! Do the thing! Boom! What? What? <laughs> How are you still there? Okay, whatever. This is where we bug out because clearly they would be firing missiles and stuff at us. Kick on the afterburners. And uh, we'd be out running missiles at this point. Uh, you see, I fired that last one off, so nothing's down there. So I can go here and rotate this so that I actually have another missile waiting to go. And except for it's really hard to see like this. I don't know why I did that. There we go. Booyah! So the next missile would be ready to go already. And it is ready to, for another turnaround and shot on the VAB except for it's not going to do that because we I really want to see how well this thing how close this thing gets to 900 meters per second which was my target speed for this aircraft and it looks like it's going to cruise easily past 900 meters per second and there it goes easily past 900 meters per second using two ramjets and two panther engines with afterburners active kicking going and it's probably going to cruise up to around a thousand meters per second so this is a pretty badass airplane but it didn't do what I wanted it to do. It did not take down the VAB. That means to me this is a failure. Those guys are going to laugh at me. I don't want them to laugh at me. So we've devised some more aircraft. Let's see how well these work out. Alright, so here is, here is our crazy aircraft. We need to actually go to... No, this... And because I actually need to turn on my weapon, I need to turn on my my cannon when I'm actually airborne <laughs> instead of doing it now, which would be really bad. Okay, there we go. And there you go. Now we can actually turn around and fire at things. Uh, we can even fire going backwards. So let's try it. Let's, hold on. Ooh, ooh, oh! I love how that sounds. VAB down! Alright, maybe not. Maybe not. So the VAB is a little tough bird. The VAB is tough as the nails. Alright, let's get some afterburners going to actually get this thing moving. This thing is slow! It's so slow, but it flies very well for being a slow, really slow, lumbering aircraft that has a freaking tank turret mounted against the bottom this is not this design is probably been done by a lot of people a lot of people have wanted to have put a tank turret on an aircraft and uh, they could probably drop their links down below to their Imgur links or, uh, or images or what have you showing their different tanks 
uh, in the, their air tanks, I guess we could call it. But this, it doesn't fire quick enough to take down the building. So, the building actually takes quite a bit of damage to come down. This does heat damage, keep that in mind, and it does some physic damage, uh, but it's not working! I can take these down, probably. Yes! <laughs> it looks so sweet the way it curves in! Look at a hook shot! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that never gets old. I'm sorry. It never does. Can I get this one? Hanger. Shot. Go. Oh, oh so not enough. Not enough damage. Not enough damage. <laughs>So this is where Ridiculous meets BD Armory. Now it's nice to have one tank turret on, the, on your aircraft, but how would you like to have three? Better yet, how would you like to have six? That's right, there are three on top, three on the bottom, six turrets spaced out so that they don't touch, they can actually swing around and fire like a freaking galleon from the pirate days. Let's see this bird get into the air. Oh! Oh! Afterburners make me happy. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're getting up off the ground. There we go. Let's go. The whole air cuff, the wings threatening to come apart as we climb up to a nice decent altitude to turn around and unleash the beast let's first go and I always forget to do this let's change that all right I up back and let's go and wreak some havoc let's wreak some gosh dang havoc all right we're turning around let's bring this up This is going to be a hell of a lot of fun. If you want, I can definitely post this aircraft on uh, some of the... On uh, Kerbal X. I, I know Kerbal stuff is down. I'm very saddened about Kerbal stuff being down. I heard it's coming back, so I'm kind of happy again. Uh, I, two, two of the... I'm sorry. I can't remember his name off the top of my head right now. But uh, Kerbal stuff was fantastic. I thank you for your efforts. I actually had a few mods that I had made I put on there. I really hope people don't think we're just taking advantage of these dedicated people that are going making mods, making websites to host the mods. I prefer Kerbal stuff over Curse. I don't I have a history with Curse in World of Warcraft. There was a at one point there was a some malware that I got from some ads that had gotten uh, that had gotten compromised. So it was a long history of things I did not like with Curse. Uh, including their configuration. I prefer Nexus mods and Kerbal stuff. Those are two of my favorite sites. But, I mean, mad ups to you, man. That was a lot of work you put into it, and that's some good dedication that you put it in for that long. Even. But anyhow, let us dig into this. We have gotten our guns. All of our guns are ready. Let's see how much it actually makes my aircraft shake when I do this. VAB is aimed and fire. Oh! oh, sweet Jesus. That is awesome. Oh, it disappeared before contact. We need to get closer. All right, here we go. Let's angle ourselves a bit here so we can get all guns on target. Fire. That's all six rounds coming at you. VAB going down! <laughs> VAB going down! <laughs> yes! Oh, that was a beautiful shot. Look at it! Look at that! Oh my god! 
All right, shots on target. Incoming! <laughs> oh, boom! Not enough to take it down. Let's see if we can loop ourselves back around here. This thing flies like a freaking beast, though. Look at it loop around. Almost too big for how close I am. Oh, <laughs> Alright. Here we go. We already have the VAB down. Let's see if we can put some notches on that. On the space plane hanger. All right, coming down. Do we have a shot? Think we have a shot? That's all six. That's a broadside. That's a broadside. But we're up too high. We need to come down. Alright, let's get it down a little bit more, and... Got it! Got him! Got him! Got him! Got him! Yes! <laughs> that is so much damn fun! Oh my god, it is so much fun sniping from up top here. Alright, let's see what else we can tab on. Oh, can we get this shot here? Let's take everything in this general area. Screw everything in that general location. <laughs> oh my god, that is almost too much fun. Nose down, targeting up. We're gonna see if we can get a shot on here and Booski! Are we too high up? Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, that is so badass. Oh, my God. That is so badass. Oh, man. All right. So, there you go. This aircraft is just nasty. The ability to hit things from so far away and accurately and with all the cannons able to swivel... And the long burn time and the afterburners, this would be a viable aircraft to just wreak some freaking havoc from the edge of, uh, of the guns, the gun range in uh, BD Armory. So these tanks can definitely reach out and blow some stuff up. Look at the devastation down there and look at this aircraft. There you go. Some people want to see this thing in flight. I posted some pictures up on Facebook. But this is the beast in flight. It is an amazing bit of aircraft. And all those guns. All those beautiful guns. <laughs> now to those that really don't like BD Armory or they don't like weapons in, in a simulation game. I know it's a space sim. I know it's a space sim. But this is also about the engineering that goes into making a craft that can handle six tank cannons stable in flight while firing and eight freaking panthers after burning really really can you really be mad at that i had to do it i had to <laughs> all right we'll get all out of here this has been your boy Jotua. if you like to see hit the like button drop in the comment let me know what you think and i hope to catch you guys in the next video hit that subscribe button and share this one out to your friends Yes, that stuff and things. We'll catch you in the next video. For now, this is your boy Jatwa, and I'm out. Peace. Look at those burners just gone. Hold on, hold on. I gotta, I gotta do this exit right. Hold on. This is your boy Jatwa, and I'm out. Peace. Not, uh, there was no FS cooling being generated, so I had to wait until I got deeper into the atmosphere for the FS coolant to start to generate uh, for fire spreader. Now, more parts starting to overheat, as you can see here. My concerns were well-based because my... You son of a bitch! I have not gotten that to work yet. Okay.
Uh, well, good thing is, we are in a stable orbit. It's not the prettiest of orbits, but it is a stable orbit.